week two is complete and let's go hey this is radio station wskee we're taking calls on the wish line making your wacky wishes come true Hello? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat and a six form father. I wish I was like six foot nine so I could get with Leo. She cause she don't know me, but yo, she's really fine. You know, I see her all the time everywhere I go. And even in my dreams, I can scheme a way to make her mine. Cause I know she's living fat. Her boyfriend's tall and he plays ball. So how am I gonna compete with that? Cause when it comes to playing basketball, I'm always last to be picked. And in some Here cases, never put it Saturday, July 9th, on my way to Clive, Iowa for a wrestling revolver. Uh, stopped at the local quick trip to get gas, local supplies, and whatnot. Um, this is my first time going on an out of state trip for a wrestling show. Um, I remember seeing, I believe it was Seamus, on a WWE thing on the network way back when. Talking about how when they're on the road, it's hard to eat healthy, um, and um, I'm trying to eat healthy. So they, instead of trying to just randomly find something healthy to eat, they just packed their own food and took it with them. So I've, I'm doing that. Uh, I have some uh, wraps that uh, some chicken, not chicken, sorry, turkey and ham wraps. Each are about 250 calories. Um, I got some, you know, some Sprite Zeros, um, cheese sticks, some pickles. Just a, just a few things that I can eat while on the road that won't blow out my calories for the weekend. Um, and yeah, hopefully this will be a successful calorie day. Um, if it's not, I'm not going, to, it's not the end of the world. You know, we all have days that, you know, don't live up to expectations as far as our, our weight loss goals. But, you know, this is, this is a special day. Rustling Revolver. Soho versus Starks, man. That is why I'm going to fucking Iowa. Um, so let's go. Bye. Drive to Iowa. Um, I am currently listening to um, DDP's um, Positively Unstoppable audiobook. So, talking about the negativity of things, as I can see that, I can see that a lot in my life. Um, I tend to more into the negativity in my real life than I do the positivity um, so I definitely think that's something I'm gonna you know it's something I need to work on um, but it's so far so good um, I don't usually like the self-help type of books things because a lot of them are always you know give yourself to a higher power type of bullshit or you know there's always there's it was always usually always a religious aspect to it and I'm really appreciating that so far um, I'm on chapter three and there there's not that um, but I'm very you know that I'm very thankful for that because as somebody who's not a religious person this feels more real, um, but like I said, uh, about an hour and a half uh, into a four-hour drive, everything's going well. Got a lot on my mind listening to uh, the uh, positively unstoppable. Six hours later. Uh, in Iowa now, I officially left Missouri. 
I have pulled over to into a cemetery to eat lunch. I always, always, um, I don't know. There's always been something about cemeteries that's made me feel a little at peace. Um, listening to, I'm on chapter five. Of Positively Unstoppable, uh, the DDP book, and, you know, okay, no bullshit, um, before listening to the book, and from, like, listening, starting the book to now, um, you know, I had some self-doubts, but, you know, I was, like, my self-doubts were, like, you know, about here. Um, I'm on chapter five right now, and now my self doubts have gone from about here to about here. <laughs> um, and I know, and that's that's all in here. Um, and it's not as much as like so. I'm not as I'm not as concerned as as far as the eating and the the exercise um but the other aspect the other aspects of you know not letting that negativity get to you. Not letting that, not letting you you self sabotage, you know, self destruct. Um, you know, knowing, knowing how I've always been. I have never truly ever lived up to my potential in anything you know I've accomplished some things um but I've never actually been successful I guess is the what I, I, successful is not the word I want to use but I can't think of a I can't think of the correct word. Uh, that's the only thing that keeps coming to mind. But it's not successful. It's it's like you know. I know I could get like I know I could do much much better. Like I know I could do something ex like be an do something like excellence. But I've always hovered around acceptable. Um, because it was, it's easier and it's expected, you know, when you're, I think, I guess when the, you have low expectations, it's even the smallest, you know, bit of success is a plus. But when you're, you have high expectations and you're excellent at things, you know, living up to that, that excellence is something that I've always feared. So I was like, you know, instead of trying to live up to that excellence, I've always like, you know, let's just be acceptable. You know, let's, oh yeah, this isn't the greatest footage, but you know, it's, it's good enough, you know? As far like talking about like my filming stuff, like this is, oh, this isn't the greatest shot, but you know it works. You know this isn't the, the greatest. Uh, you know that this could this art could be or this project could be or, you know I'm not do I'm not giving my best here, but it's good enough. And I've always. Like, just accepted to be acceptable.
And everybody's always just, you know, everybody always allowed me to be acceptable. No one's ever challenged me to be more. People have always allowed me to quit. People have always made excuses for me to quit. And not, in, in some cases, people have given me the excuses to quit. When I was really young, I went to try out for the uh, St. Clair, um, was it St. Clair, Missouri, um, the St. Clair wrestling, um, like, at, like amateur wrestling, not professional wrestling, amateur wrestling um, squad, and I got my singlet and I was embarrassed by how I looked in the singlet and my dad at the time my dad was upset about how much it cost and how much you know wrestling was going to cost and how how much it was going to inconvenience him if I and he didn't want to hear me. So instead of encouraging me, you know, telling me and helping me get through that fear. He told me, that you can quit. He's like, if you don't want to do it, just give up. And yeah, he gave me a choice. I mean, but as much as it sounds like he gave me a choice, he, he gave me an excuse. You know, when I needed support. When I needed someone to tell me that I can do it, he told me I could quit. And it's funny because now that I'm thinking about it, I've been doing this now for a week and I've already had three people three different people tell me I can quit and that is why I feel like I can't trust people to support me in this I've done this for just a week now, I've had three people tell me that, you know, I could quit. Three different people give me excuses why I could stop. Instead of encouraging me 
challenging me to go from acceptable to exceptional. I love everybody who are, who's in my circle. And every one of them, I believe, in the bottom of my heart, have nothing but good intentions. But I really wonder how many of them think I'm actually worth an effort. How many of them just are thinking this is going to end in a couple weeks. He's never going to do anything else. Luke is never going to rise above being acceptable. And I think I think I need to start surrounding myself with people who know or who think that I am worth an effort. That I am possible. Or sorry, that I am I have the I don't even know how to say it. I that I have the capability of going from acceptable to exceptional. I've never felt like I really had a lot of people who believed in me. With a few exceptions here and there. But even those people, I still see the doubt in their eyes, hear it in their voice. And the hardest thing about talking about this is that I'm petrified I'm going to lose the few people I have. So week two is done. Um, 
it's been, I think, a successful week. Um, a little worn out at the moment. I um, My walks have been typically 0.6 miles, 20 minutes, about, about 20 minutes for 0.6 miles. Um, tonight, I increased it to a full mile. Um, took me about 27 minutes, um, but that that extra 0.4 miles uh, took a little more out of me than I expected. Um, so I'm a little a little dazed at the moment. <laughs> um, past week has been pretty good. I've been able to stay on my calories. Um, I've had a couple new food things I've never tried before. Um, I saw DDP, uh, the DDP Yoga Now um, app thing had suggested this, what was it, like a, a, what was it called? A bean burger, black bean burger, black bean burger. So I, I picked one of the, I picked up like a two pack. I was like, you know, two pack, not bad. If I don't really like them, you know, I'm not wasting a lot of food. And I made one of those today and I don't know, man, <laughs> that was, that was not something I would want to eat again. Um, I got one more burger though. I'm going to try the first one I grilled. Um, I'm going to try and air fry the other one. And maybe that will help. Um, but yeah, not not a big not a big fan. Um, had a couple salads this week. Uh, we had I had a real burger. Um, had to really watch my calories that day. I only got I only had one burger, which was oh, so before I started counting counting calories, I would have had two burgers big old thing of fries and that day I had one burger no fries I was not happy <laughs> I was not happy but it's all good it's all good you know <laughs> it's all good um we done what else we done we did oh Last night we did these spinach and broccoli enchiladas. Was it enchiladas? Yeah, broccoli spinach enchiladas, which was really good. Um, I don't think Cassie liked them as much. Um, I really liked them. Um, we also had done a a Guinness beef stew, which was really good, but I had to eat a very small bowl because the calories were pretty high on that one. But it was really good. We put some in the freezer, so I'll save for later. And I took some over to Jason, you know, et cetera, et cetera, heterosexual life mate, my, you know, silent Bob to my Jay, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then today we had uh, one of my favorite things to cook in the air fryer. It's um, sausage, green beans, and potatoes. And instead of like regular smoked sausage or pulla sausage, we use turkey, um, turkey sausage or turkey kielbasa, which was a lot less calories, but it was still still really good. I really enjoyed it. Really liked it. <sighs> Um, I found a yogurt, a couple yogurts that I actually like, some really low cow yogurts that I really liked. Um, that was shocking because usually I hate yogurt. I even hate saying the word yogurt, just saying the word yogurt, yogurt, just, ugh. but you know, I found these little cool little yogurts that were good. Um, I've lost some more weight. Um, I think I'm at. 14 pounds lost so far. I know this is just, you know, the beginning. I'm gonna 
taper off here in a little bit and the the weight loss is not going to be so drastic but you know enjoy i'm enjoying the sudden weight loss as i you know while i can get it um so i guess the elephant in the room is my health i heard back from the doctor today well <laughs> funny enough while i was grocery shopping and looking at labels <laughs> um I heard from the doctor today and I have something called right ventricular kin kinesis, I think is how it was said. Basically, um, something's wrong with the right side of my heart, um, possibly damaged because of a past blood clot when I was younger or one more, much more recent. They don't know which. Um, the doctor seemed concerned, more confused, um, but definitely had some concern in her voice. Um, she didn't seem to understand how this is happening with me having no history and still no history of, you know, bad blood pressure. I, I always have good blood pressure. So she's not really sure what's going on. Um, so... Uh, she's going to get me scheduled up with a cardiologist and see, you know, we'll see what the doctor says there. We'll see what the heart doctor says. <sighs> Honestly, um, I don't know. I don't know what to think. My amazing, wonderful, too smart to be my niece, too smart to be my family, <laughs> um, sister niece person just um told me that you know it could be a lot of things and not to worry about it and i was like you know too late <laughs> um but yeah i just i don't know i don't know um we'll just have to wait and see Um, <clears throat> last week, as you, have you probably, I've already shown in this vlog, I've went to Iowa for Russell Pro, not Russell Pro, sorry, uh, Wrestling Revolver. Um, it was a really good show. I was very, very impressed. Um, yeah, it was definitely worth the drive, worth the money. Um, I would definitely love to go again. Unfortunately, the next show they're going to have in Iowa is going to be in September during our blackout periods. Um, so there's just a blackout period for work. I mean, I just, I, there's no way I can really guarantee I'm going to have off. So I, I just can't really take a chance of buying tickets and then not going. Um, so that kind of sucked. But the rest of the show was great. I was able to give Allie Catch her um, her stones that uh, my wife, Cassie, and I were able to get for her. Um, she seemed to really enjoy them. I was glad we were able to, I was able to get them to her before the full moon. So she can do a little moon magic. Um, I got to... So... I saw Camaro Jackson, and, you know, I've been really, you know, Camaro Jackson seems like a legit cool person, and I always, like, you know, I've always been interested in weight training, and I, I honestly, I don't know what the, what the hell I'm doing, and right now I know physically I am in no way, shape, or form ready for weight training, but I've been thinking, it's like, you know, maybe... Once I'm once I get down to my goal, like my one of my goals is to get down to three hundred. And once I get to three hundred, it's like you know maybe I'll be healthy enough and ready enough to really get into weight training at that point. And I was and I always thought I was like you know wouldn't it be really cool to be like you know get down to you know get down to that weight and start weight training and be able to weight train with somebody as cool as like Camaro. You know, that'd be so awesome. So I saw Camaro Jackson. And I was like, you know, fuck it. I might as well just say it now. So I asked Camaro, I was like, hey, man, do you want to make a bet? 
I was like, if I get down to 300 or less, you know, you're going to teach me a little bit of weight training. And he's like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Now, I honestly don't think Camaro Jackson is going to ever remember this. <laughs> um, and I, he probably doesn't ever think I'm going to get to that under 300 pounds. Um, but, you know, the fact that he encouraged me and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, he seemed really excited about the, just the idea, the possibility really, you know, even though he was probably faking it, it, it meant, a, it meant a lot to me that he showed, you know, I guess a little bit of encouragement. The exact opposite <clears throat> of the, uh interaction I had with Davy Richards. Now see with Davy Richards I just I didn't make a bet with Davy Richards. I didn't you know all I did with Davy Richards was to thank him. You know, I, I said, you know, thank you, sir, for all of the videos, the training videos you put on with Team Ambition on Twitter and things like that because, you know, those are some of the things that are really inspiring me to go on this journey. Um, and the, the, the dismissal in his voice and just the complete absence, it wasn't disrespect, it was just an absence of respect. Um, honestly, it's been bothering me ever since. It's been bothering me ever since. So, I'm driving home and I'm trying to listen to the, the last part of the DDP um, book and as much as I'm trying to focus, I just find myself replaying something from the show over and over and over again. See, at the show tonight, there was a, a wrestler who actually was part of the inspiration behind me doing this. I think that was like, I think that's the first time since I've started this journey that I really like for a brief moment, that dismissal made me question whether or not I can do this. But then the anger <laughs> um, just the absolute anger that arose. It's like, you know what? So I got another goal now. I have a new goal that's getting added to the list. And that is to put in enough work, lose enough weight, get healthy enough, lose over half of my fucking body weight. I used to be almost 600. Let's get under three for starters. And then You know, I wasn't going to say it. Then I want Davy Richards to shake my hand. I don't even want his hand shake. I just want him to look me in the eye. And dismiss me again. Because I'm taking that fucking shit. And I'm going to use that to fucking drive me. I have been dismissed... You know, I'm sure, I'm sure you're probably, he's probably fucking so used to fat slobs like me coming up to him and he probably doesn't even remember this interaction. I remember it. I'm going to remember it. 
Every fucking time I want to give up, I'm going to remember this. And when I break my goals, I'm going to show up and I'm going to tell you, I've lost 300 pounds. Do you respect me now? I mean, I know, I know I don't, I haven't done anything to earn Davy Richard's respect, but I don't, I think there was no need to be so dismissive. And his Yeah, kid, you lose that, I'll give you a shirt. It's like, you know what? I'm going to lose that 300 pounds and you can choke on that shirt. <laughs> I've been dismissed. And... Usually, it's never really bothered me before. I mean, it's, 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 it's always been like, you know, like, I don't know. It's just like, it's like big fucking whoop, you know? I don't care. But this one, this one stings. Hmm. Having people that believe in you is important. And I think that's why this, this dismissal by Davy Richards stung so much. It's because I think it was at that moment I realized that, you know, I've not really had a lot of people throughout my life actually truly believe in me. And uh, I'm just kind of tired of it. And instead of letting those people who don't believe in me be proven right because I give up, it's time to prove them wrong. It's time to prove them I can't do this. But enough about fucking Davy Richards. <laughs> um... Uh, what's going on this weekend? We are, I am going to my wonderful, amazing sister Clarice's house, her new home, to have a taco potluck with her family and our wonderful friend Neil for his birthday. Um, I will be bringing my own food to make sure I stay within my calorie limits. Um, oh, something else very important happened this week, but I don't have it in here, so I will shoot a special video about that later. Um, but something arrived that I've been waiting, like, almost a year for, and I'm so very excited. We got... Glory Pro Wrestling coming up in a week from this Sunday. Um, Ethan Page, another person who had inspired me with his vlog um, and his, you know, you know, his, you know, I can't remember the vlog, he, the name of the vlog he did, but basically to he, he had some issues with his physique and he worked out and got you know became meat not meat man but um you know buff muscle man you know odd guy um so it'll be cool to see ethan page at glory pro and then the week after that i will be going to st louis anarchy and i'll be taking my nephew and my wife <laughs> 
<laughs> to their first St. Louis Anarchy shows and my nephew's very first wrestling show. To say that I am not, um, I'm not scared. I am petrified. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I just want them to enjoy it. I know, like, Anarchy will be a good show. So, I think that's all I have for now. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'll cut it short here. I will talk to you guys another week.